All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're coming to you from the Freedom Studios. This is just a different part of the studio. It's basically a bedroom in an apartment building that I have out of town. Uh, the cool thing is, is that I've got all this sound insulation up, and uh, there's enough room in here to actually set up what I call the mobile reloading station. I've got the review table over there with all the cool lights on it, and then I have a new workbench over there so that I can start working on AR-15s and other platforms while I'm out of town. And then again, we have a little table where we sit there and have a come to Jesus about the things that are going on in this world. All right, so the reason we're here, I wanted to show you this guy right here. So it's been a long time since I've had the ability to reload and uh, test loads while I'm out of town. <laughs> if you remember back in the day when we were doing the six arc, I was actually having to go back home and develop loads and then drive all the way back up to Pennsylvania and then test them out and wait another week. And it was just a really bad effort. <laughs> it was a lot of work because um, I didn't have the room to do something like this. So we went ahead and put this guy together. And I wanted to do a couple things a little differently than I have in the past. Um, when I used to just have a piece of plywood and my first little uh, single stage press, this guy right here, this is the, the Lee Classic uh, with the... Uh, bushing system. This guy was absolutely awesome. But what would happen is that on a single piece of plywood, you always had flex. And I didn't like that. So this time what we did was I had a piece of a three quarter inch CDX and then some uh, two by fours in between. And then this is a piece of birch up on top. I wanted a nice smooth clean surface. And what that did was that it gives me the ability to not have that flex. Now the table moves. Yeah, I get that. I don't like it either. But again, I can take this thing, I can slip these things off of here and throw this in the back of my car and go to the next location. That was the key element. Um, another thing that we did, and I want to thank uh, the, the Social Regressive uh, because he did a nice review on this RCB, uh, I think this is the Premium uh, Rock Chucker. And I loved it. Also, Gavin Noob did one, and the cool thing about this is that there is just absolutely no movement between the ram and where you seat the bullet and uh, resize and do all your neat stuff. So I decided, instead of continuing further with the Lee Classic, now don't get me wrong, guys, for 80 something dollars, this is an awesome setup, and then the Lee uh, dies are absolutely incredible as well. Went ahead and went with the uh, RCBS dies on this one, and uh, there's a reason for that, and I'll tell you about that. We'll, we'll go through the whole project, and the idea is that we're going to go through this all together. We're going to develop a load. Johnny's Reload Bitch has got a really good load set up for the 77 grain using the, uh, what the hell am I using? Some kind of powder, I can't remember. So the idea, we're going to use Sierra Mash King 77, and this is all this thing is geared up to do is 77 grain. Single stage. I'm not planning on doing anything else with it. Um, I've got two of the IntelliDroppers here. Picked those up on sale over uh, multiple years. And the idea is to go ahead and set them up, get them going so we can do the powder fills. Uh, this guy right here is a really cool, beautiful Lyman uh, multiple caliber powder fill thingy. And uh, anyway, the idea is to set up a round that will go through this rifle that I'm building using the, this proof research one and seven twist barrel. Now, you know, I'm not a big one and seven twist fan, but with a 77 grain, it is a very good barrel. So we're going to be doing that. So it's going to be fun. Uh, we'll go through the whole adventure. I bought uh, several new items here. I've got the Lyman uh, brass prep thingy. Uh, we've still got to work on this guy. I got to cut these shafts off. This is the, uh, the world's greatest trimmer. I'm not sold on it yet. It leaves jagged edges. Um, I will tell you this, uh, one of the reasons I may go ahead and mount the, uh, this guy over here on this side is because it has the, the uh, case trimmer and it can dial it out to a thousandths and it deburrs and dechampers at the same time. I've never had any problems with it, but I, I just wanted to see uh, if we could go to that next level. Uh, we're, not, we're not shooting off bench rest stuff, okay, but we want to try to get our ammo as accurate as we possibly can and detail it to each one of these rifles that I have that we shoot the 77 grain. We got a competition coming up uh, at the Memorial 3 gun. We're probably going to shoot a couple more before that, so it's going to be a lot of fun. 
but I want to be able to reach out and touch something with those 77 grains. I've got my uh, three gun rifle and we're going to be taking it out. I would be shooting, hopefully I gotta go tomorrow, not this stuff. But I'm going to be testing out the Callaway Ballistics 55 grain. Uh, I'd like to be able to go out tomorrow if it's not going to be downpouring. We're going through a little hurricane. Big wishes to those guys and uh, prayers to the people down there in New Orleans. So anyway, real quick story about how we got some stuff going on. <laughs> I am going to do a video. There's a really neat little deal out in San Francisco. Evidently, they'll pay you not to shoot people. So, uh, man, hmm, think about it. It's Boy 32 uh, If you like more videos like this one, and we're going to be, oh, yeah, by the way, we're going to be changing this thing out. This is a just the, uh, the Anderson lower, but we're going to do an M4E1 lower with this, and then the Lancer uh, buffer tube and stock with the Lancer tube that is somewhere around this building somewhere. I don't know where half my stuff is. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and head right down so. Support the red, white, blue. God bless America. God bless his men. Women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedoms, I'm free. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. This is going to be fun. And we'll start the series off here real quick. Uh, one, wash, wash your stuff. I got a tumbler somewhere and then a dryer and it will trim it. I'm really excited about that thing uh, because I've been jacklegging it with a little 45 degree bit uh, on my drill press so that I just tried out a couple of the uh, the cases and man does it clean those pockets out so anyway y'all be good KB32 if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and have already done so uh, don't forget to visit kb32tag.com um, I gotta get the parts list together for econ one the list is there but the links are not uh, we're also going to go through annealing I got the uh, EC, EC uh, whatever, whatever what the hell that thing is called man what a day the stuff that's going on lately has just been stressing me out. Y'all be good. KB32, I'm out. Boom.